You know, I went through something here and uh, about the CPS case. You said I never told you. The paperwork that I filed on 1231 in the exhibits is in there. And also in the pleading that I filed on 1231, it Manager, is in there too. Miss Manager, let me stop you right there. That was the, if that's the pleading we talked about, that's the pleading you, and I realized we were on an order shortening time. We were on an order shortening time. I know. I, I didn't receive it. I told but you, you I told, didn't. Wait a minute. I asked you in open court because I know you usually read things. Right. I said to you because you acted like my impression was you hadn't read it. And I point blank said to you, Your Honor, did you read what we filed? And you said yes. I voted the tape again because I feel really sure of that, that I asked you that. Because I don't recall it. Listen, I was the, so concerned that you hadn't read it. The issue was the and open CPS you. case. And again, the point is we've tried to call down there. She's probably like a typical CPS caseworker in a busy state. She's probably in court all morning. So I cannot get a hold of her. Um, I my can tell you what line it's on in our pleading if you'd like it. I'm sorry? It is on our original opposition. It was filed on 1231. Page 5, line 7 of the opposition uh, is talking about the caseworker. Okay. Richard. Okay. And Your also client, the CPS listen, case. Listen, let's, let's back up a little. Your client, have you been in contact with the caseworker in the last couple of days? The last week? I tried to, Your Honor, and I okay. couldn't get a hold of her. I hope that's not the case where we can't get a hold of her for days at a time. And Otherwise, I called it'll from get... my office when we came back from your hearing on the 2nd. I called there. She's sitting there, you know, in front of the office on speakerphone because I wanted to make sure in case they had a question. I left the message with her. I left the message with her supervisor, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But the other thing is, on the CPS, it was, the information was there, the case, also the doctors. The one doctor referred, the pediatrician, I think, referred him to the counselor. And it says we have an, there's an open case in, on CPS in California. What's the case? That is not a case, Ms. Manager. That's an investigation. That's a misrepresentation well, made. I said there's an open case in California in CPS. It's not a, it's an investigation. It's an investigation. It's an investigation. Right, but we can't get the paperwork on it when I call. Okay, Ms. Manager, that is all we're going to. We're clarifying it out of an abundance of caution. Absolutely. And I appreciate that. Okay. So the other thing I can think of today, why she's up here, and for and since the kids are already up here, is to continue it to 1:30. Hopefully, we can through a supervisor get a hold of somebody. And if not, we may have to continue it the next week. And again. Out of an abundance of caution, I will let the kids go back with her to California because I simply don't know the status of it. Okay? I, I don't. And I'll go back and I'll look at the tape too. But again, had there been a representation that there'd been an open, then again, I'm not going to relitigate. If it was an error on my part, I apologize. That part I did not hear. I heard the reciprocal. I thought it was indicated that they were both closed. What I don't have, and again, I'm not saying that the decision's already been made on your client's part. If there was any worry or concern, she could get an emergency, especially if they know there's a case going up on in Cal up in Nevada, an order saying, No, no, you don't. We're we're this is an emergency placement order with these kids. Right. I've seen them out of every state. Nope. She doesn't have it. You want an emergency order out of California? Say. No, I'm saying, I, I if, especially if they knew there was going to be a case up in Nevada, that's usually when they will issue it, even pending an investigation. They don't even have to have an open case. They don't have to have one open case. So we will try our best. Wait till 1.30. That's all I can do. I, I apologize to everybody, but all we can do is then we'll try up a... Does anybody happen to know what her supervisor's name is? My client called. He was on hold to try to get a hold of the supervisor, but we didn't have a name. Santana is the name, and I've got it here because I called her the other day. Carla? Carla Santana. Okay. So hopefully, and if in fact, let's do it this way. If we if we haven't heard anybody by anybody by 1 p.m., the matter's probably going to have to get continued to next week. Okay. With your client going back to California with the kids. Right. If we also have some phone contact between, uh, you want a phone contact or not? Or if you take the kids back with you? Let's see what happens on that case first. Right. Okay. She's denied all contact, John. 
That is not true. Stop. We've got a Stop. lot. We'll see you back at one. We'll see you back at one thirty. Otherwise, we'll give you call my. Please call my office before you guys make the trip down here. We should know by one o'clock whether we're going to have call somebody okay. who can give us some information. Because I, again, I don't want to waste you everybody's want this, time. This information to your marshal. Sure. Go ahead and hand it to him. You can get it to my JEA. The day, on the second. Show it to Mr. I Harris gotcha. just to be safe. It is Carla Santana, 951-791-3307, and I've got her down as a supervisor, and then I also have another number, 951, I think it's also 79. All right, and then this was the general number, right? Yeah. And the general number was 951-791-3200. Okay. okay. We'll do, uh, listen, trust me, we'll do everything we can on our end. And that was on one, too, that it... To get a hold of somebody messages. who can and make she, some adequate representations about this case at 1.30 on the record. Did somebody tell you they were going to send something to us or not? I have to wait. Mr. Manager, these are conversations you should probably not have an open court with All right, the client. Fine. I, I'm just saying that's probably something you want to talk to her outside of okay. the presence of the court. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank well, you. We'll see you hopefully a little bit later, if not next week. All right. All right. Thank you.